On the uh, meeting with uh, Talmadge officials, I'm not Talmadge, but North Canton. Yeah, I want to ask you about oh, that. Oh, yeah, uh, Fred and I went up and met with uh, uh, Pat Diorio and, and Daryl Roman. Councilman Roman. City 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 it was, it was just manager. you? Uh, Grant okay. Meeting. Or city yeah, and, and we just wanted to go up and, and just kind of clear the air. We did not, quite frankly, want the elephant in the room that, you know, people would be upset that they're leaving North Kent. I mean, it but is they've known North about North this it for is. a long time. They have, but again, we just wanted to calm the wall. wall yeah, we're just to make sure we're all on the same page, and any questions yeah. that they had were answered. We're trying to sneak get a feel. No, oh, that's right. correct. That's, that's, that's exactly, exactly right. right. You, you, you didn't want to hurt feelings. You're no. going to sneak around us. Everyone's acting like we're dead, you know. Yeah, and, 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 and if there's things that need to be vetted and questions, yeah. we but, want to know. But, but there, there's no, there's no, there's no provision that substantially, you know, offsets that loss at least right now. Well, for them, it, it's the way they it is. do have a loss, and but but again, um, it, to your point, everybody knew that it was happening. We just wanted to clear the air and to make sure that we touch base with them. We think that it's important that we okay. that we communicate with our fellow townships and our cities, and that everyone is on the same page. That doesn't mean they have to be ag agreeable or they love it. Yeah, no, they but were at sad least, that they're leaving. Yeah, they but did. at least we we but, touch them. But to be fair, they can't provide that site that Jackson. Could. They just don't have that kind of space. They don't. And it's a private. It's a company mind, that cho made the choice. And keeping in mind, it's a private company that's yeah. leasing yeah. in the city of North Canton does not own. Right. Um, and, and and so the, the space will certainly be available, but they want a permanent headquarters. And so when they were casting about for places, unfortunately, North Canton wasn't wasn't that yeah. place. Was it? But they, they don't have that type. Of, it's a totally different environment out there, right? yeah. you know, in Wales. Well, on the size of building that they're going to build, yeah. too, there, this there, physical plant and the space needed it, to accommodate that many employees, that's a large space. That's not, that's not the type of place that North Canada would have. That's just not yeah, what that's, they are. Again, that's Very up to difficult. The, that's up to the owner. I mean, he made the choice. So, But we did not want them to, to leave, leave the county. The county. Right. Right. I mean, they did that's have that choice right. to, to look right. at other townships yeah. because they have business well, they have significant in other parts connections in Ohio. To Ohio County, significant con connections to several out-of-state places where their uh, overall uh, business family does business and so it was not a fait accompli that they were going well, to stay here. Well, it's, it's a big debate. You know, some people are like, well, if you, if you didn't give them this agreement, they would have stayed anyway or had done the move anyway and they're just trying to, okay. you know, they have so, to how, how do you know? Well, then yeah. those people yeah. have a crystal ball yeah. and they know what's yeah. right. Well, and I, I will tell you, I went up and met with Jerry. Uh, personally, I, I went up by myself to meet with him, and I mean, he's desirous to stay in Stark County. He likes the environment, he likes yeah. the services, he's happy in this county, and therefore, we do not want to lose a a major, I wouldn't say a major employer, but large a significant large, 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 large employer. employer. He's not the largest, and, but uh, it's, it's a growing the, business. With well, some of the things they have in yeah. the pipeline, the pharmaceuticals. Yeah, the, well, their total employee is 2,440, I think, but the, the headquarters is all 327. So. Mm -hmm. But they are developing additional lines in the pharmaceutical area, which have the potential to have uh, well, exponential right. growth. Right. How, 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 how do they add jobs? Or the agreement? Or retain. Retain is, is, is retain, retain or add and retain how much, and how many, or add. How many was that again? Um, I can look up. I thought it was 250, but it's 250. It's in the agreement itself. So. It's, it, when did you it's in the application North in the packet. Canada? I'm sorry, well, when did you meet with North Cam? Uh, the last week was it this oh, month? No, no, no. no. It's been a couple months. months. It's been a couple months. August. Couple months. August. Uh, I, I think summer. It might have been days. August. It was yeah, it's probably. Or even earlier. And when did you meet with Jerry? Well, it wasn't July, and I met with Jerry probably. I met with Jerry after I met with North Canton. I have so, to go back. So, so, I, I so late would, summer. I would say yes. Okay. Yes. Did it come up in your discussions at all? And I've heard this from. Uh, several North Canton officials and from some citizens activists up there that what prompted uh, the Schroyer group to uh, contemplate moving was an unsatisfactory relationship with their uh, current landlord. Did that come I up think at that all? That is a fair statement. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. Well, what specifically was it? They weren't I, I'm not going to speak for him. I just know that they, yeah, them. you would have to talk to them, but he just expressed some concern 
And it was, it was August 1st. <laughs> oh, August the 1st is when so we worked with North Canton, yeah. and then it was after that that I met with Jerry then. Again, it's a private business, and he can make the choice that he wants to make. Well, the good news for us, he made the choice to stay in Stark right. County. Right, well, that's the bottom, <laughs> line. That's the bottom line. The, the bottom line for the Stark County Commissioners is that there's going to be this uh, ebb and flow between the various political subdivisions. The commissioners just want the, the end game to be within Stark County. That's you know, for instance, the uh, Mars industry went from Maslin to North Canton. Mm -hmm. And North Canton bought, agreed to buy them some equipment to induce them to come there. So that's just going to happen. Okay, so but I think Janet said it best earlier is that they had other choices outside of Stark Right, County. right. And that comes down to be a poker match. And so you're sitting there and you're going, they have valid ways to leave this area. So now it's like you don't want you don't want to you know North Canton you don't want to lose but on the other hand they were going to build we want the county they were to they weren't if they were going to go lease somewhere that's one thing but they were going to go build and I'll tell you what you were taking that chance they were hopping hopping the border mm -hmm. and it's like well, we didn't want them to do that so well, you well, do what you best well, you put your best foot forward and you go after it this board is not made a policy ever to incentivize companies to move from one corner of the county to the other right. has not been done yeah this was a completely different yeah. dynamic that would be pretty unacceptable well, right. among the political well, the subdivisions represent both both sides of, of that right it's when the company is is threatening to move lead the county one, yeah. which logically and legitimately could that's a whole different okay so, so, so there's some concern that that, that troyer had with the landlord you're not able to kind of oh, say with that well, one. he no, can no, speak I, to I, that I, that's, that's his, his so, who, that's who his initiated the contact between the commissioners and the company um, the township. I'm assuming Jackson okay. Township, right? Yeah, the, the township. Uh, Jackson, Jackson Township. Uh, what? Uh, Gonzalez uh, contacted yeah, you folks and said you that's need to talk to talk to. How the company yeah. contacted them or they contacted that? That's that's that would be a question that they. Could well, I know, but how did the commissioners get involved? Oh well, I think that either Mike Vaccaro or someone from the township called.